What up guys, it's me EM Drones. I want to give you guys a quick rundown on the new KO Technologies Method R 2207.5 2000 KV motors. This is going to be a quick disassembly and maintenance video. So when you get these motors, they're going to come in a nice box like this. This is uh, KO Technologies Facebook and Instagram. Go give them a follow and a like. Open up the box. You're gonna get your motor in a nice mesh baggie, which I think is pretty cool. You're gonna get a replacement plug for the bottom of your motor, which you actually have to cut to size. They give you a little bit bigger of one, but you gotta cut it to size. You get four long screws and four short screws. And here it is. This motor features uh, many actually innovative features from KO Technologies. So this is a 2207.5 2000 KV 6S motor. It features active choke point technology to improve cooling on the stator during flight. Single strand hand wound stator. CNC anti-prop slip design which is up here on top. It's got a unique titanium half shaft design which I'll show you in a little bit once I disassemble. N52SH magnets and it's got the cryostator coating which allows the use of cryospray and it makes it resistant to extreme temperature changes. This is a cryo cryospray right here. You get cryospray, race oil, a nice little prop tool and if you have RC cars or planes this has a lot of the sizes that work with that so when you get these motors um, the first thing you're gonna see is this right here you got a plug on the bottom and then what this plug does is uh, it keeps the oil in this motor also features removable bases and bells so if you ever, if you ever crash and bend the motor if the stator is intact, you could literally replace it and keep this motor going. So let me, let's get into disassembling this motor and maintenance and how to keep this motor alive. All right, so when you first get this motor, it's not going to be oiled up. This motor is meant to be ran with race oil. It's a synthetic uh, bearing oil, but it it's going to keep everything inside the motor lubricated. So how we're going to start this, I like getting a little flathead because if, uh, if you use tweezers like this, it's very easy to poke a hole in the rubber and just to prevent any leaks, it's better to just work this, get it right under. You'll feel like where it kind of catches and you could just lift it right out. Bam. So once you lift that out, you're going to want to get a 1.5 millimeter. Hold the base, unscrew it. It's got some thread lock on it already. Once we do that, to remove the bell from the base and from the stator, you're gonna wanna get a frame, an arm. I recommend a full built frame if you got one. gonna get our 2.5 tighten these down we don't need to over tighten nothing we're just gonna keep it there from um, just to hold the base on there so we can pull off the belt so once we do that all right 
So we got our bell off. Once we got our bell off, this is already gonna have a little bit of uh, thread lock on it from factory, but you're gonna wanna get the stator by the magnets. So this one had a lot of thread lock on it. I had to take it off camera. But you're gonna wanna twist it. If it just cracks and you can't twist anymore, just keep twisting it back and forth. You're gonna loosen up the thread lock. Take off your stator. Bam. So once you do that, I like going around and cleaning the cleaning the threads again because we are gonna apply thread lock again. So clean the threads around the base. Clean the threads around the stator. Yeah, and you can tell there's a bunch of uh, they put a bunch of thread lock in there, which is actually really good. That way it doesn't back out. But you don't want this going back into your open bearing. All right, so I just cleaned it up. Got a lot of dirt out of there. So once you have your motor like this, just have the open bearing. Um, casing so there is a gap in there you can see the balls of the bearing you're gonna want to get your ray soil oh, I always forget not to take that off just loosen it up up here you're gonna want to drop this is like pre-oiling it one drop of oil make sure it could get to the bottom if not add a little bit but all we're trying to do is just give a, a coating to the top of the bearing right there. We're gonna put a drop on here too. I'm gonna get the shaft and put one drop tiny drop on the shaft and I'm gonna get my finger lube it up lube it up in there all right so that is the oiling process so far we're gonna get our blue thread lock I recommend the blue one Loctite we're gonna put a small drop on the threads right here that is all we're gonna need right there. We're gonna get our stator. I'm gonna twist it to the right first so it catches the thread. I don't know if you just saw it drop in there. Once we do that, we're gonna tighten it. Drop back our bell. Try to line it up because it does come out hard. I can feel how smooth it is. We're gonna get our 2.5 and uh, loosen up these screws right here. We got our motor like this. We're gonna get our bell screw. Had a tight. Oh man, that was way too much. 
Gonna get our little paper, dry some off of there. Barely put anything on this. You don't wanna make this too tight so it doesn't ever come off. We're gonna get our 1.5. We're gonna tighten this down. You don't wanna over tighten that, but you don't want it super loose either. What you got here, we're gonna drop two drops of oil and what we want is to kind of cover up that top of the the top of the screw head. Two drops of oil is gonna do that pretty much. You're gonna see it get right there. You might not be able to see it on camera, but literally it's just the top of the head is it's got oil right up to there. We're gonna take our plug. Put some oil around the edge really quick just to make it slide in. Wipe any excess off of here. I'm gonna push this back in there and bam. We got a fully rebuildable motor. Just did the maintenance on it. I'm gonna recommend uh, checking this every week depending on how hard, how hard you fly. I would recommend for any racer to check this once a week, twice a week, maybe start racing on monday check it on wednesday check it again on friday maybe before races on the weekend um if you're a freestyle pilot depending on how many packs you do maybe once twice a week but yeah thoughts on this motor so far they look amazing the fact that you can replace and rebuild them is definitely a plus um, I've flown the Demon Seed motors, Demon Speed motors, those so far haven't let me down, surprised with, with the power that's in them. Let me give you a quick, quick look at the Demon Seeds. Demon Seeds are amazing with the blue windings on them. These are 2208. Love these. You can get cryo spray, race oil. Your motors from KO Technologies. Highly recommend these motors. That's what I'm going to be using for the upcoming race seasons. That's what I'm using right now for my race quads and my freestyle quads. Love the motor. Love the motors. Love the quality. Love the company. Love everything about them. So definitely give them a chance. Give them a like. Give them a sub if you like what you saw. Give me a like, sub. Thanks, guys.